welcome to today's video presentation using the test plan feature. The test plan feature is available in ActiveHGL and Riviera Pro providing you have the code coverage features. One question I get asked a lot uh, either on training courses or uh, customer visits is how do I tell when I've finished verification? And my general response to that is well that depends how well you plan for your verification. The question will then come back is well what do you mean? Well the way I look at it is before you start a design you need a design specification. You need to know what you're designing and you may break that down into a more detailed design requirement. From those design requirements you can then generate a set of test requirements to test that the uh, designed features that are required have been designed into your design and they work correctly and there aren't any corner cases where they fail. And from that design test requirement you can build a test plan. And using the test plan feature from ALDEC we can convert that test plan into a machine readable format uh, that can be merged with the uh, coverage statistics be that functional coverage statistics or um, code coverage statistics from your simulations and looking at that test plan and how we're closing on achieving all the metrics we've set out we can assess how well we're testing our design. So let's see what that looks like technically with regards to the ALDEC tools. So the first thing we need to do is to take our test specification and build a test plan in a spreadsheet. Um, so that could be either from uh, Libra or uh, Excel, um, you know, you, it's very simple technologies. Just build a test plan listing uh, the tests you're doing, the links to the simulation database that you require, what type of tests they are. You know, are they a code coverage test? Is it a, a functional coverage test like a cover point or a cross point check? And once we've generated that, we can save it into an XML format. Once we have the plan.xml, we can run that through an ALDEC utility called XML to ACDB, and this will import it into a ALDEC coverage database file. Now, alongside this, we've obviously been developing multiple tests to test all the requirements of our test specification. So the idea is we have one to n simulations. We run those simulations and we capture the coverage data from those simulations and merge them into a coverage database. So now we're in the position where we have a test plan in a database and a set of test results in a database. So all we need to do is merge the two together associating tests with the test requirements in the plan and once we have that merged database we can output an HTML report or a text report that we can view and see how we're progressing on closing down on all our uh, test plan requirements and I'd say once we've completed all the tests on the test plan to ideally 100% or if we can't reach 100% we've documented why we can't reach 100% then I think we can safely say that we have fully tested the design. So that's enough for the theory let's have a look at the test plan in action. We have here a small design for an encoder and the encoder has a test bench and if you look under the test bench you can see we've configured six different tests. Uh, these tests are relatively simple in that they read in a data file which they encode uh, with the encoder and then check the results. And I've got a simple script that compiles that design with the code coverage features turned on and then runs 
a set of simulations, six in all, um, and for each test it generates a different uh, ACDB file, so it's a different coverage database for each test. So what we'll do is we'll run that so that we can uh, gather all the data we need. Now that's running quite nicely and what we can do is once that finishes we will merge all those six um, coverage databases together with the ACDB merge command so that we have a single coverage database that represents the whole simulation suite and when we'll just generate a report and view it so those tests are finished so we can generate the report and here is the coverage report um, and it lists out on the summary page all the um, metrics that were captured by the code coverage analysis so you know we've got path coverage assertion coverage toggle coverage in here cover group so that's functional coverage and as you'd expect as this is a finished uh, test suite um, we get pretty high coverage there's just um, two paths in the path coverage that we're not capturing and those paths could be in the design mutually exclusive obviously we'd have to work that out and document it so we could explain why we haven't got the full 100% code coverage we're, we're down um, at just under 100% because of the path coverage now and this is all very standard and the type of thing most of you will be doing today. Part of your test planning will be the creation of um, a test plan you know, or a, a, a test specification and this will be listing all the tests that you need to do to confirm that all the requirements that you've captured in your design requirements are actually in the design so you uh, capture a requirement telling you what you need in the design and then from that you can capture a test requirement that you need to test it. Pulling all those tests into a test plan is a very easy way for us to visualize how we're closing in on getting um, all the metrics for our verification completed. So I have a test plan for this design and this has been captured in a spreadsheet in this case Excel, but you could be using uh, Libra if that's what you wanted to use and it's very simple column of format we have um, the test ID a, uh, a reference code um, a description and all this will come out of our um, test specification um, then we have a link and this is telling us how to link it to our test coverage database and what type of link so you can see we could be checking for statement coverage or branch coverage uh, we could look in for assertion coverage or functional coverage or toggle coverage or we could be checking a simple test pass fail and that's all we need we can add in additional columns to weight that test so if one test is more valid or more important than another we could give it a higher weighting we can assign tests to specific engineers and we can give tests different priorities so you can see here for example we've considered that the functional tests are more important than the code coverage tests. so we need to get a uh, hundred percent functional coverage before we get hundred percent statement and branch coverage so all we need to do now is save this spreadsheet in an XML format so we can use it to generate a test plan. So here is the script we're going to use to convert our XML test plan into a ACDB test plan, a code coverage test plan and then we can merge that test plan with the code coverage databases from each of our six tests and build up a test plan showing us how far we've got in covering our tests. So here's the XML to ACDB command that creates 
the test plan in ACDB format and then we simply merge it with all the uh, we merge the test plan with all the uh, simulation ACDBs and generate a results ACDB well, and then we can display it so you can read it so we'll create the display in HTML and here we have the summary of everything that we did we can dive down if we want to look at the individual coverage so here's the uh, path coverage that didn't quite complete Actually, if I just expand all you can see the paths through these two conditions that were never tested however um, it could well be the case that for start to be false if start is false then ACK can never be true so um, you know we can understand why we may not get the coverage we're expecting for these particular tests and if we go to the verification plan we can get the verification plan summary and we can expand that out so here again is that result for the path coverage and here are the results for everything else so for example we can look at the toggle coverage we get 100 percent and this uh, verification plan view is a, a very good way for uh, management to look at how the test verification process has progressed with any particular design. Well I do hope that you found that video of interest uh, please keep an eye on our website www.firsteda.com uh, for some more of these technical hints and tips videos. Many thanks. Till the next time. Goodbye.